In Firenze's palazzos, uh, there are many exciting modern exhibitions. Here is a quick look at one of them. Palazzo Strozzi, Icelandic Danish artist Olafur Eliansson's Nel tuo tempo, In your time. In this, artist directly interacts with Palazzo's building itself, works with sculpture, painting, photographics, films, installation and digital media. Thank you for the tip, David. Just next to the antique and food markets in Piazza Lorenzo Ghiberti, you can find great street food at Semmel's. And a nice glass of wine for just one euro. The Church of Santa Maria Novelle is one of the Tuscany's most important Gothic churches. The interior hosts extraordinary works from beloved Renaissance masters. The courtyard was built between 1340 and 1360. This is the Green Cloister. It takes its name from the frescoes originally painted in so-called green clay by many famous artists in the early 15th century. Officina Parfumo Farmaceutica di Santa Maria Novella is the oldest perfume shop in the world. When it comes to luxury brand storytelling, this would be hard to beat. Founded in 1221 by Dominican brothers, Santa Maria Novella is the niche high-end beauty brand that has survived the plague, the Italian wars through the Renaissance, two world wars and countless political upheavals to produce soaps, skincare interns, and other personal products. And only consider a visit to Florence complete with going to Santa Maria Novell's store museum, which includes a former chapel, sacristy, and garden. You find this extraordinary store in Florence, just around the corner from Basilica de Santa Maria Novella, and moments from the railway station. A visit to this one-of-the-kind place offers the chance to step back in time. I brought home a beautiful scent from there that transports me right back to Italy.